everyone, this is Crystal. Um, welcome to my channel. Um, today we are going to be creating a offset seamless pattern in Procreate. And by offset, what I mean is that we'll have this main motif and instead of it lining up in a square, it'll offset like this to the side. And this is gonna be the first of a three part series. So today we will be creating our actual pattern and then the next video, we will create a background like this that'll also be seamless so that you can use it in any document you want to. And the background will be um, able to be repeated. And then in the third part, we will take our pattern and we will make some different color variations. And then we will set up a document like this that you can put your patterns in in order to display them together. And um, all of the series will be linked in the description below so you can find them. So today we're gonna start with this one. Alrighty, um, let's get started. So to start with, we gotta create a new document. We're gonna use a square document. I like to work in high resolution so that if I need to print it ever I can, I'm gonna use 3000 by 3000 pixels at um, 400 DPI. Uh, you can use whatever size your iPad's capability works best with. Just make sure you use at least 300 DPI if you ever plan to print. Um, all right, so to start with, we are going to drop in our background color. And instead of changing the background color down here, we're gonna leave that so we can turn it on and off. And we're going to put our background color into this first layer. So we will go to our color palette up here, grab a pink and just color drop. So we'll grab the little ball, whoops, grab our pink, grab the ball and pull it in. All right, and then the next step, we'll take a, make a new layer above that, grab our white, and then I'm gonna use all just built-in Procreate, Procreate brushes today. So uh, we will use the dry ink in the inking um, folder, and I have it all the way up in size, and we are going to just draw a heart. Okay. So once you have your heart drawn, oops, you can um, color drop if you want to, but this brush has a nice like texture to it. And so in order to maintain that texture, instead of color dropping, I'm gonna just fill it in by hand and quickly color it in. Um, I wanna try to do this all in one stroke without lifting out my pencil, and that'll help maintain the texture a little bit more evenly. So we'll just color this in real quick. It's okay if you leave a few little white gaps if you want to, however you like it. All right, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now we're going to create a new layer above our heart and this is gonna be for our arrow. So we will grab this um, gray color. So it's kind of a dark gray. And we're gonna bring down our brush size a little bit. I have it at about 40%. And the heart or the arrow is gonna be coming out of the front of the heart. So we'll start up here, pull down. And then if you hold your pen down, the line will snap to a straight line. So you can kind of get your arrow where you want it and then let go and draw your triangle for the tip. Okay, and now the arrows, I am imagining this arrow coming like through the heart, so it comes out there, but it's gonna come from the back behind. So we'll create a new layer, and then we'll drag this layer by just grabbing it, holding it, and drag it down below the heart layer. And this is where we're gonna draw the other half of our arrow. So imagining it starts here, it goes straight like this. I'm gonna hold it till it snaps, line it up so it looks straight, and then draw our like feathers right here. Oops. Okay. All right, so now that we have our heart 
made, we're going to resize it so that's a little bit smaller and centered in our canvas. So we're going to select the three layers. So we have the two arrow layers and the heart and hit group and group them. Close the group by hitting this little arrow right here and then grab this arrow and that selects it. I have uniform turned on and I have snapping turned on. So if you click this button, snapping is toggled on and this is, um, the distance is at about 24. That'll help us snap to center really easily. So grab your arrow and then we're gonna grab a corner and just bring it down about in that size and if you bring it to the middle. So if you see, I have these orange crosshairs. That is how I know it is completely centered. And then if you want to rotate it all, you can too. I think I'm going to bring it around just a hair. Maybe right about there. Okay, now it's time to do the repeat portion. So the thing to be aware of when you make a pattern, so this is a very simple motif, and but you can make it as complex as you want to. Um, but whatever you do, you have to imagine it would, if you cross it or divide it into four sections and have them in these four corners, that you still have room for it in the middle, otherwise it won't be offset. So this should be just fine um, at, at this size. So that's just something just to be aware of. So what we're going to do is we are going to duplicate this group so that we can save this and we're just gonna turn it off. So that way if we ever need to come back and manipulate this artwork for any reason, we have an original saved. So on um, this group, we will um, duplicate it again. So we're gonna swipe and hit duplicate. And then we're gonna flatten these two groups. So we hit the first one, or you just tap the group and then go to flatten and then do it on this one too, flatten. Okay, and then we're just gonna turn off one of those. We only need to work with one, but we're gonna save this one for later. Okay, so select the top um, layer and then hit the plus so that you're making a layer right above your top heart. And you can grab any color. Since I already have the gray selected, we'll just gra grab that and we're gonna drag it in and fill that layer. So now we have a fill layer on top of our heart layer. And the reason we're doing this is so that we have, we can cut this entire canvas in half and get two equal parts. So we will select our fill layer and our heart layer, hit the group button, hit and close that group by hitting this little arrow. And then we're going to, oh, I forgot something. On this fill layer, you want to hit the N and reduce the opacity so that we can see underneath it. Just like that. Okay, and then we can duplicate it. So now we have two groups that are the exact same. They have the heart and they have a um, transparent fill layer over top. So that way we can still see it, but we can see an, any weird lines. And what I mean by that is if I take this group, I hit my arrow to move it, you can, we can see it, how they line up by that color. So that'll help us get everything lined up perfectly. Okay, so this is the part where snapping is really important. So we're gonna have our arrow turned on, we're selecting the one of those groups, and we're going to move it to either the left or the right, it doesn't matter. And we wanna make sure that we have the orange crosshair. So I have one across here and one across here, so I know it's exactly centered. Oh, let go, when it's when you got the crosshairs. Okay, so I got the orange crosshairs. Okay, now we're gonna add the, grab the other group and move it the opposite direction, so we'll go this way and it'll snap into place. You wanna have the orange crosshair. So on this one, it's along the bottom and along the side. So I know it's right perfectly centered. And if I unclick, you can see there's no weird lines where that fill layer is, line, is um, overlapping. So we can delete um, those two fill layers. So we'll open each group, swipe and delete. Now we can take all of these and we can merge them together. So you could either just pinch them like that or you can select them, group them, and merge the group, however you like to do it. Okay, so now we gotta repeat this process and move it up and down so that we're getting this heart split forward and backwards, or up and down. So create a new layer, go ahead and fill in our fill color, hit the N, 
so that we can reduce the opacity about halfway. And then we're gonna select both the fill layer and our two hearts. And we're going to group those layers, close the group, and then we will duplicate that group. So now we have this group twice. So the first one, we'll hit the select button up here, the arrow button, and we're gonna move it up. And then we'll grab the other group below that and we will move it down. And we see all of our orange crosshairs, so we know we're good. No weird lines. So now we can go ahead and delete the fill layer. So we open it and we hit delete. And now we can merge those ones again. Okay, now the arrow or this heart that we saved, we're gonna turn that layer back on by clicking this little check right there. So now we have our offset. We have a heart here, a heart here, a heart here, a heart here, and a heart that offsets into the middle. Okay, so we can merge all of our heart layers right there. Okay, so now we're gonna add our secondary heart, which will go right here and right here and right there. So to do that, we're going to have to move it again. So we're gonna hit the plus to create a new layer, drag in our fill color, reduce the opacity, and group your fill layer and your pattern layer. Close that group, duplicate it, and then grab your arrow and we're gonna move it to the left first. Let's make sure it snaps into place and you see those orange crosshairs and then move it the opposite way. Make sure you see the orange, no weird lines. All right, so we can open our groups, delete the two fill layers. So swipe and delete. All right, let's merge those ones together. Okay, so now we can draw our little heart in the center. So um, to do that, I'm gonna do, do it in its own layer just in case I don't like it or for some reason like that. So I create a new layer, grab my white, still I'm on the inking brush, and we are gonna draw a smaller heart right here in the middle. <laughs> my color dropped, so I wanna fill it in so that I maintain that texture. Okay, and it looks like I got a little spot right there, so I'll just erase that. Okay, so now we're gonna grab our arrow right here, and we are going to, oh, I might still have some something written, drawn over there because it's not, okay, there you go. So now it's selected just the image. So grab our arrow and we're gonna snap this to center, which is right there. If you wanna rotate, you can, but that should be good. All right, I'm actually going to make a little bit, clean up this edge a little bit. I don't like that edge for some reason. Okay, that looks better. Okay. All right, so now we have that heart. We're gonna duplicate it so that we can save one for when we do our offset. So we'll take one of those hearts and drag it below our other images and turn it off just to save it. And then we'll take this pattern layer and this heart layer and we will merge those two together. And then now we're going to move it and split it again to get to these four corners. So we're gonna create a new layer, press the plus button, grab a color to fill, reduce your opacity, hit the N, reduce the opacity, and swipe both layers and group them. Duplicate our group, grab our arrow, and we'll go up first this time. So we got our orange crosshairs, and then we'll go down. Orange crosshairs are there, perfect. No word lines, so we can delete our fill layers. Okay, and then merge all those together. Okay, so now we gotta go get to this side, so that means we need to go left and right. So we'll do it again, we hit the plus, bring in our fill layer, reduce the opacity, 
select both of those layers, your pattern layer and your fill layer, and group them. Close the group, duplicate, and grab your arrow to select it, and then we're gonna go left, make sure it snaps into place, and grab the other group, and go right, snaps into place. Okay, it all looks good, so we can delete our fill layers and merge them together. And then we'll turn on the heart that we saved. We can just merge that one in now. So now at this point, we have our pattern created. So we are going to save it without a background or anything so that we can use it on different colors or however we wanna do it. So we are going to turn off all the backgrounds so this is the, that way we have a transparent background. So I don't have anything turned on other than the, this layer right here. So to save it, we need to save it as a PNG because that's what saves with no background. So we're gonna hit the wrench, hit share, and then hit PNG, and then save it wherever you wanna save it. I'm gonna just save it to my camera roll. All right, so now we can turn back on our pink layer, turn off, this layer, we're going to just save that, and we're gonna hit the wrench, hit add, and hit insert a photo. And we're gonna pick that photo that we just did, and then we're going to resize it so it's half the size of the canvas, or a quarter, I guess, it fills one quadrant. Okay, and then we will duplicate that image, grab it, and move it to the other side. It'll snap into place. Go back to our original image, duplicate, and bring that one down. Go back to our original, duplicate, and bring that one to the corner. And there we have it. We have a pattern that completely lines up. There's no lines or seams. And we could just keep going. If I wanted to, I can um, merge those four layers. So I just have that one. I could duplicate it, turn off the bottom one to save it, and I could keep going with this. So I could select that layer and make it even smaller. Like right there, duplicate. Go back to the original. Duplicate. And then back to this one, so it's the third one down. Duplicate. And there we have it. So let's select those four that we just did in the smaller scale and group those. So then we have that scale, that scale, and the full scale. So there we go. That is how I create seamless patterns in Procreate. So um, come back for part two, and I will show you how we are going to um, add this background like this to it, which makes it look pretty dang cute. So we will see you next time.